Hey guys, what's going on? VHS update for June 2nd, 2018. Uh, earlier this afternoon, I went to uh, Books and Melody's LLC in uh, Syracuse, New York, and I found uh, 13 tapes that were of uh, were uh, very were that I really wanted for my uh, collection. Uh, this store has a lot of really fantastic uh, titles on a uh, VHS, and uh, they can be they they tend to be a little bit uh, price a little bit uh, expensive when it comes to their uh, pricing. So I was I decided to be a bit uh, kind of picky and selective, and uh, just pick out and I picked out the thirteen titles that I really wanted the uh, the most. So, um, yeah, let's just, uh, get started. I, I got two tapes in, uh, smaller plastic, uh, clamshells, and then the other 11 tapes I got are in cardboard slipcovers. So, start with the two, uh, clamshells I got. The first one I got is the, is a, uh, 20th Century Fox widescreen series tape. This is the 1999, uh, widescreen series VHS of Aliens Special Edition. Yep. This is, of course, the uh, the second film in the uh, Alien uh, series. And, of course, it's, it's digitally THX mastered for superior sound and picture quality. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I think... I'm pretty sure uh, all the uh, 20th Century Fox widescreen series releases are uh, THX certified. So, yep. Here's the spine, and here's the back. Sigourney Weaver returns in the stunning special edition release of Aliens. <laughs> Includes 17 minutes of restored footage, digitally mastered from a new high-definition film-to-tape transfer. So, yep. And this is... 154 minutes. I'm assuming that includes the, uh... That's the total running time of the movie and the, uh, the bonus content on here. So, yep. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And the print date is the 36th week of 1999. So, yep. And the other one I got, and the other small plastic clamshell tape I got, this is a uh, Warner Brothers uh, special edition tape, but there's uh, there's something kind of interesting about this copy, which I'll show you guys in a second. This is the Warner Brothers special edition VHS of Annie Get Your Gun 50th Anniversary. And as some of you may know, I do have another copy of this tape that I got... Uh, uh, way, way back in March of, uh, 2014. But the reason I got this copy, you guys are gonna be shocked to see this. On the count of three, I'll show you why I got this copy as well. On the count of three, I'll show it. One, two, three. That's right, this is the, this is the full-length, uh, screening cassette. Yeah, this is now... Yeah, I found another uh, Warner Brothers Special Edition uh, tape that's a uh, screening copy. So yeah, very cool. And this is now my second uh, Warner Brothers Special Edition VHS I have that's a uh, full-length screening copy. The other one being uh, Enter the Dragon. So yeah, like I said, I do have the official copy of this tape, but now I have the screening copy as well. And I think, I'm pro I think I'll probably just keep both copies. Just for uh, the collect, just for the collectability, basically. So yeah, it's the front. Here's the spine. Here's the back. Yep. And special features before the movie are original theatrical trailer and an introduction by Howard Keel. And after the movie, it has three rare outtake musical numbers. Let's go west again with Betty Hutton. And a pair of the originally cast Judy Garland, doing what comes naturally in I'm an Indian 2. So yeah. And it says, a sure as shooting musical favorite makes its long-awaited video debut. 
So yeah, this was the very first time this movie was ever released on home video. This is a 2000 tape. It's co-produced by Turner Entertainment. Here's the ink label. The print is July 10th, 2000. And, uh, I guess just for a little comparison. Here's my official copy, which I got, like I said, back in March of 2014. And here is the screening copy. I'll just compare, I'll just compare the two real quickly. So, yep. Screen copy, official copy. As you can see, the front covers are pretty much the same. It's just that this one says full-name screen cassette, and this one obviously does not. Then... The, sp the spines are pretty much the same, except... As you can see on this one, the, Warner Brothers, the WB Special Edition logo is uh, slightly higher up than, uh, than on here. And this one's... And the uh, screen copy, it says, for trade use only, not for sale, rental, or public exhibition. And this one just has a stock number. Those are what the spines look like. And as you can see, there's, the, there's what the backs of both of them look like. It's got the same tagline and the same uh, dis description and everything. It's just, uh, as you can see, both of them have different uh, pictures on the back. And uh, this one has no UPC on it because it's a screen copy. And uh, this one has a lot lesser uh, information at the down at the bottom than this one does. So you go. Those are what the uh, cases for the. There's the comparison between the cases for both of those. And you already saw the tape for that one. And there's here's the tape for the official copy. This was printed on March 7, 2001. So you go, know, there's your little uh, comparison between my two different copies of Any Get Your Gun, uh, Warner Brothers uh, Special Edition VHS. Okay, now on to slip covers. This next one I got is a uh, MGM Musicals tape from 2000. This is Absolute Beginners with Eddie O'Connell, Con Connell, Patsy Kensis, the late David Bowie, James Fox, and Ray Davies. A Julian Temple film. A flashy, extravagant rock musical, says the New York Times. Yeah. This film was, I think, originally released by uh, HBO or something. This was originally released... This film was originally released on VHS in, like, the 80s by, like, HBO or something. Something like that. And then, uh, in 2000, MGM bought the uh, home video rights to it. So, yeah. You saw the front. Here's the sides. And this one was in the shrink wrap when I got, but the bottom part was chopped off. Here's the top and the back. Spectacular. One of the most ambitious and exciting movies of the decade, says L.A. Weekly. A flashy, extravagant rock musical, says New York Times, and breathes the soul and spirit of adolescence, says Los Angeles Times. Smart high style, says The Hollywood Reporter, and a musical with brains, says LA Weekly. And that's it for the uh, critical. That's it for the uh, critic reviews on there. It's a 1986 film by Orion. It's a PG-13, and it's an hour and 47 minutes. Here's the ink label. The print is March 7th, 2000. So it was printed, um... Just one, two, three, four... Printed five days after I was born. And was printed exactly one year before my official copy of Ain't Get Your Gun Special Edition was printed. Yeah. So it was printed just... So yeah, it was printed exactly one year before my official copy of the Ain't Get Your Gun tape, which I showed. The official copy. Which is right... There. 
All right. This next one's an, another uh, one of these uh, unauthorized uh, releases by a company called Nostalgia Family Video. This is a film called The Hairy Ape. It stars William Bendix gives his greatest performance, as it says right there. Also stars Susan Hayward, Joan Loder, and Dorothy Cummingore. However, you, I have no idea how you pronounce that. So yeah, here's the sides, the top, and the back. Uh, the film itself is from 1944, and it's 90 minutes. So, yep, and it is recorded in the SP mode. And this is a 1997 VHS tape. And like most of these uh, unauthorized releases, it has no label on the front, but it's got this uh, end label. It just says the Harry Ape 1944, 12, 5, 5, 9, with, not 12, 2, 5, 5, 9, sorry. 2, 5, 5, 9, which is the uh, stock number on this tape. And it says William Bendix, Susan Hayward, 90 minutes. So yeah. Okay, the next one is a Kino release. This is a, uh, this is from the Art of Buster Keaton collection. This one, this is, this is, I believe, now my third, uh, Art of Buster Keaton, uh, Kino release I have. This comes with, uh, Bat Battling Butler, also featuring The Frozen North and The Haunted House. Yeah, starring in 12 rounds of knockout comedy. Digitally mastered from Archive Prints, featuring original musical score. So yep, this is, now the sec this is actually now the second week in a row that I come across a uh, Kino video release from my collection. As you know, last week I got that one for uh, the Eleanor Roosevelt story. And there's the back. Battling Butlers from 1926, renewed in 1954. Uh, the Haunted House is from 1921, and The Frozen North is from 1922. And this is a 1995 VHS. And just like the Eleanor Roosevelt story one that I got last week, this one also comes with a business reply card from Kino Video. So, yep. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And there are some printings, but no print date. It says A A A L R R right there. Whatever that means. That says T120. But there's no print date. Okay. This next one is a key video. This next one's a uh, Charlie Chan uh, key video release from the key video Charlie Chan collection. This is Charlie Chan in Rio, starring uh, Sydney uh, Taller from the Charlie Chan collection. This is now my fourth uh, Charlie Chan uh, key video collection tape that I have. The other three, I believe, are Murder Over New York, uh, Charlie Chan's Secret, and Charlie Chan the Wax Museum. So, yep, and this one, uh, the front cover opens up like this. Sides, top, and the back. Special case dozer, dozier inside, and I just showed you that. Um... Charlie Chan Reveals Revenge in Rio. It's a 1941 film, renewed in 1969. And six, it's 62 minutes, so it's just over an hour long. And this is a 1989 VHS. However, 
You guys are going to be shocked to see this. Take a look at this. 2000, yep, this is a 2001 reprint. So yeah, another uh, Charlie Chan key video tape I have that's a uh, early 2000s reprint. So very, so very cool. And it's got the ink label. And print date is January 27th, 2001. So yeah. Very cool that I got another uh, key video release that's a uh, early 2000s uh, reprint copy by 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. Alrighty. The, ne the next two I got are from uh, Columbia Trickster Home Video. This, ne this next one's an extremely rare movie. This is Invasion of the Saucer Men. Creeping horror from the depths of time and space. So yeah, this and this movie's never been released to V. Ch I mean, never been released to DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, at least here in the uh, states, only ever available on VHS and I'm thinking maybe Laserdisc as well. I'm not sure, but it's never been released to DVD or Blu-ray. Again, here at least not here in the uh, states. So, so yeah, this movie's uh, pretty rare, and uh, because it's rare. Look how much the uh, store was asking for it. Yep. Fourteen dollars. Holy crap. See, I told I told you guys this store can be a little bit pricier with their uh, VHS tapes. So yeah, I paid four... So yeah, this was fourteen dollars at the uh, Book and Mel, Books and Melly's uh, store. Yeah. Pretty crazy, but uh, I have been looking for a copy of this movie for a little while, so yeah. So I figured I I figured I'd shell out the uh, fourteen dollars for this tape. So yeah. So yeah, very very cool that I actually got a copy of this uh, movie since it's uh, very hard to find. Yep, and very cool I got another sci-fi movie for the collection. So yeah. There's the front, the sides, the top, and the back. They came from another world, came to kill, and only the kids can stop the invasion of the saucer men. Stars uh, Steve Terrell, Gloria Castillo, and Frank Gorshin. Uh, this is a 1957 movie, renewed in 1984. Five. And this VHS is from 1993. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And this was printed in the 18th week of 1993. And there's... There's what the uh, barcode on this tape uh, looks like. You can again, you can take your own guess on what kind of closing you think this tape might have, judging by this uh, barcode on here. Judging by the barcode on it. So there you go. And then and the next one I got. Um, the box says 1985, but this is definitely a uh, mid mid 90s Columbia Tracer Home Video reprint. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. Of a man for all seasons. This is a classic movie right here, uh, starring uh, coast starring uh, Wendy Hiller, Leo McKern. Robert Shaw, Orson Welles, Susanna York, and Paul Schofield as Thomas Moore. From the play by Robert Bolt. Yep. It says, 1966 winner of six Academy Awards, including uh, Best Picture. So, yep. 
This is, obviously this is a 1966 film. Yep. As you can tell, this was originally a RC Columbia Pictures Home Video uh, tape, but this is a uh, Columbia Pictures Home Video uh, reprint. But still, but still set, but it does still say uh, 1985 right there. Despite the fact that uh, our state Columbia Pictures Home Video didn't change the name till to Columbia Tricenter Home Video until about uh, I think uh, maybe either late 1991 or early 1992, somewhere around there. So this, yep, this movie's rated G, and it's an, and it's 120 minutes. So this movie's exactly two hours. And there's the sticker label, which says 1987 on it for some unknown reason. And this was printed in the 32nd week of 1995. Yeah, 32nd week of 1995. And it's got a boring barcode, so obviously this will have nothing at the end. Although it might still, but I doubt it. So there you go. Okay. Got, uh, one, two, three, four. Got five more tapes left to go. These, these next two are by Warner Brothers, and they're both Cheesy Shield tapes. This one is the 1987 VHS of Elvis Presley, Loving You. Loving You starring Elvis Presley. So yeah, another Elvis Presley movie for my collection. I, as some of you may know, as some of you may know, I do, I do actually have a, a Good Times copy of this movie from like 1996. But now I have the 1987 printing by Warner Brothers. So yeah, this will be replacing my uh, Good Times copy of this uh, film. Even though my Good Times copy is still recorded in a SP mode, still I prefer to have a ver I prefer to have a version of the movie that's done by a much more uh, major uh, studio. So yeah, you saw the front side. This is from the musical genre. Obviously, well, obviously it would be since it's uh, Elvis. Sides, top. And this is one, you can tell this is one of the earlier uh, Warner Home Video slipcovers because it's one of the ones that just has the Warner Home Video logo on the top. In the back, he had the talent. All he needed was the chance. 1957 film renewed in 1985. Yep, and this is a 1987 VHS. Here's the sticker label and the end label. Let me try. Let me see if. Let me try peeling back the uh, end label on this tape to see. See if there's a print date. And it would appear there is a print date. The print date is March 9th, 1987. So that would have been so that would have been um 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 That would have been uh 7 days after my birthday even though despite the fact I was not even though I was not born for an, until uh I wouldn't have been born for another um For another uh, 13 years. So yeah, March 9th, 1987. So I think this chance. I think chances are this one, this one might have a black screen of death at the end. Yeah, it might have a low pitch black screen of death at the end. It may or may not. It's got WHV right there. So yeah, this one might have a black screen of death at the end, but I, I cannot be uh, certain. So yeah, and someone wrote number. Someone put number sixty-four right there, whatever that means. And the other one I got is the nineteen ninety-one VHS of McCabe and Mrs. Uh, Miller, 
with Warren Beatty and Julia Christie. Yep. Here's the sides, top, and the back. The most imp oh, this is from the Western genre. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Yep. The most important American movie since Bonnie and Clyde, says Gary Arnold of the Washington Post. This is a 1971 movie, and this is a 1991 VHS. And this movie is rated R. Nah. This one does have... You can see right there, it does have the recyclable logo. Right there. Yep. Tape itself is a late bore, Boring Shield uh, reprint. And the printing is July 1st, 1998. How, however, I, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure this still this will still have the Cheesy Shield logo at the beginning. So there you go. Ah, crap. Or am I? Am I actually? Are all? Am I actually? Am I actually have the uh, Big W logo? Yeah, that's a that's a possibility as well. But again, off the check, off the check. Okay, the last and then the last three tapes I got are MGM tapes. The first one's a standard MGM UA home video release, and the other two are from the MGM UA Vintage Classics collection. This so this is the one standard MGM release I got. This is the 1989 VHS of The Girl of the Golden West. With Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy. So you have another uh, McDonald, Jeanette, and Nelson uh, movie from my collection. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Uh, my mouth is starting to run dry because I've been talking for almost a half hour now. Sides, top, and the back. Golden Hills, Voices, and Melodies. Jeanette McDonald teams with song and dance man Buddy Epson in MGM's The Girl of the Golden West. So yeah, this also features uh, Buddy Epson, who was best known for uh, playing Jed on the Beverly Hillbillies. Yep. 1938 film, renewed in 1965. It's a 1990 VHS, like I said. And it's co-produced by Turner Entertainment. Sticker label, which looks like it might be starting to peel, so I might have to, so I might have to fix that. Printing is July third, nineteen ninety seven. So this is a so this is a much later reprint. And then, like I said, the the last two tapes I got are two new uh, MGM Vintage Classics tapes for my collection. And these are both from the. MGM UA Vintage Classics uh, collection. The first one I got is the 1997 MGM UA Vintage Classics VHS of Separate Tables with Deborah Cure, Rita Hayworth, David Niven, and Burt Lancaster. Yep. Here's the sides. There's a stick right there. This is 182. And I just, uh, and I just peel that sticker off. I mean, I left a little residue, but that's okay. I can just clean that off easily. Uh, top, back. Says in glorious black and white. So this was one. Of the, this I assume was one of the. This was one of the very last MGM UA Vintage Classics tapes to actually have the English black and white thing on the back. Because they stopped using that in like, I believe like mid 1997 or so. Absorbing Entertainment says Los Angeles Times. And a provocative and intelligent film says Variety. Not 
nominated for six 1958 Oscars and winner of two, which were, uh, yeah, was nominated for Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actress, Best Writing, Best Cinematography, and Best Music Scoring. And uh, Actor and Supporting Actress were the uh, awards that it uh, won. So, yep. This one does contain the original theatrical trailer. And you, kn you know the drill with reading the, uh, the facts from the vault on these uh, vintage classics tapes. There you go. This is a 1958 film. Yep. And this this one is co-produced by United Artists. Sticker label. Print date is January 18th, 1997. And the last VHS I got is the 1999 MGMUA Vintage Classics VHS of Jezebel with Bay Davis, Henry Fonda, and George Brent. Yep. I, I do also have this movie in my uh, Bay Davis uh, VHS 3-pack that also comes with, I believe, Dark Victory and... Um, Oh, now Voyager. Yep, now I have the Vintage Classics printing as well. I do still hope to get the uh, key video release of this movie at some point as well. So, yep. And, yep, you saw the front, the sides, the top, and the back. Davis is superb, an exceptional story, and an excellent cast, says The Hollywood Reporter. And compelling emotional drama, says The Hollywood Reporter. So, yep, this one does not contain the original theatrical trailer, unfortunately. But, what are you going to do? And, I call, as always, like I just said, you know the drill with reading the facts from the vault. <laughs> Yep. 1938 uh, uh, movie. And this is co produced by Turner Entertainment. And this one did come with the ad for the uh, Vintage Classics uh, collection. Yep. There's all that. And I'll just. And there's something interesting about this tape, which I want to show you guys. Take a look at this. You see that? There you go. You can probably tell. Yeah, this has a this tape has a dark sticker label on it. Yeah. How cool is that? I'm not. I don't think I've ever seen a uh, MGM tape that actually has. A dark sticker label on it. So yeah, this is a pretty rare copy. I have no idea if this is actually recycled from anything. And not sure if I'm gonna bother peeling the uh, label back to see if it's actually recycled from something. 
but it, it might be, but I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna even bother checking. But that's really cool that I actually found a uh, MGM tape that has a dark sticker label. Yeah, I didn't know those, I didn't know MGM ever used these, these uh, dark sticker labels, but apparently they did. Who knew? Not me, apparently. And the print date is December 4th, 1998. So this is a uh, early uh, pressing. So yeah, as you can see, I got, uh, got some pretty good uh, tapes here. As I pretty much do every time I go to this uh, Books and Melly's uh, store. Again, they they have a they have a fantastic selection of uh, tapes. It's just again they're a little bit uh, pricier than most stores, so I like I tend to be a little bit uh, selective whenever I go into this store. But it paid off. Got some really good finds here. So hope you all enjoyed this and uh, thanks for watching.